In this video, we're doing an updated version of counting documents from flow when you load documents in and tie it to a particular object. In this case, it will be when we tie it to an account. Now, I did do a video for my YouTube channel a few years ago regarding counting documents, and someone mentioned something about it, so I wanted to update this and go further. We're going to cover a few points in this discussion today. I'm going to show you the flow and how we count documents from the flow. I'm going to tell you about what's not covered by that flow and then show you the trigger to count the documents when a document is loaded without editing that account. So let's dive in. I'm now inside my test sandbox org and I'm on a list of accounts and I'm going to choose a particular account randomly. And I do have a field, and this will come into play later, of the date time when a document was loaded. And I did that just so it could be edited. When a document is loaded, it'll edit the account. I also have my total number of documents field. So if we go to the back side and I get into my flow, I have a flow, count the documents, and we're going to go over what we do. So here, I've got this running when an account is created or updated, although, of course, when you're creating an account, you're not usually tying the documents to it, so it could probably rerun on updated only. And then I get the documents. So the object that I'm using is content document link. A while back when I first did this a few years ago, I thought it might be content document, but it no is the link. So I want the linked entity ID to equal the account that was edited and launched our flow. I'm getting all of the records tied to that linked entity ID and putting it into a collection variable. And then I have to decide how to update. So if no documents are found, that is my collection is null, I still want to update my records to zero so that it's not a, a null counter. And then if it didn't meet that first criteria and documents were found, I'm counting, equaling the count of my collection variable to my number variable, total count of collection, and I'm updating the account with the total number of documents. Now again, what somebody pointed out is that this only runs when your object is edited. So if I only had this by itself, it would only run once that object is edited. So I would have to load a document and then edit the account for it to count them. It does make sense that you might want to run it when you're just loading in that document. So over on my developer console, I'm going to open our trigger. And this trigger is on the content document link object. And I have a set of the account IDs. And here is that field, the date time now. Because all I want to do is be able to edit that particular account, that record, somehow already so it launches the flow. So I'm really not doing it from here, the whole thing. All I'm doing is saying, gee, I, I wanted to edit my account somehow when I'm updating a document, or excuse me, loading in a document. So when I load a document, somehow I want to be able to edit any field, and I so I found a date time stamp field. Let's just stamp the date time on it. And then if the content document linked entity ID is of the account object, because that's where I want to count it on, then it gets the list of accounts, and then it updates the accounts here. Here's my account date time when the document was loaded. Now, I know a little bit about Apex, very, very little right now. However, how did I do this? How did I get this in here? I went to chat GPT and I asked it to write a simple Apex trigger handler for the content document link object that finds the linked entity ID of the S object. So interestingly, I had asked it regarding loading in a document before and it didn't come back correctly. So I had to be very, very specific of what object I wanted it to run the trigger on. And it gave me this, of course, it has some field and some value. And so I was able to update that from there. So 
as I continue to learn Apex and coding. In the meantime, I'm going to use the help of ChatGPT. Now, what is not covered by this flow is deleting a document. And we're not going to cover that here. However, now that I've built that trigger, I know that I can update the entry criteria that the date time when the document is loaded is changed. So it only runs when the document is loaded and this is changed, then it will run and count the documents. So I will put in when I updated this. So I know what I did to make a change on my flow and activate that. So now the document is loaded, the date time stamp will change. And when the date time stamp changes, it will then count the documents. So now I feel like my flow is a little bit better. And I had this flow in here for a couple of years, which is why I had no entry criteria because I wanted it to count all the time when the account was edited. But now, now that we have the trigger and it only runs when a document's actually loaded, it will only run then. So let's go back to our front side because we started here. Date time when the document was loaded and total number of documents. I'm going to click files, add files, upload files, and I'm just going to choose three files. Click done, date time stamp, and we have three documents. Thank you for watching.